morning, boys and girls, and happy Easter Sunday. If you thought last week was a big day to celebrate Jesus, think again. Today is the biggest celebration of all. Today is the greatest day to celebrate the victory that Jesus had. Do you guys know what a victory is? It's a big win. It means Jesus conquered everything he wanted all, with the help of his Father God, of course. See, even the grave, even death, couldn't keep Jesus down. We've learned about all the awesome things that Jesus has done over several weeks and several months that you've been with us here at Camp Courage. We've learned about Jesus healing people. We've learned about God saving people from death and from dangerous situations. We learned about him telling others about God's love and how he sent his only son, Jesus, here on earth to be born of Mary and Joseph and how Jesus grew up, became a man, and spent most of his adult years telling others about God's great love, showing others kindness and healing people. Well, God promised that he would bring the people. Back then when Jesus was alive, even before Jesus was born, and people like you and I today, that he would send a savior, someone who was perfect, someone without sin, who had done no wrong to come and save us so we wouldn't be separated from God. And that person was the son of God, Jesus. And on this day, Easter Sunday, Jesus showed everybody how powerful his heavenly father was by raising from the dead, which brings us to today's memory verse. Today's memory verse is, Jesus has risen from the dead, Matthew 28, seven. Let's say it again, kids, but let's say it with more excitement. You ready? One, two, three. Jesus has risen from the dead, Matthew 28, seven. What a victorious day for you and I, for those of us who believe in the Son of God, who believe that Jesus died for our sins, but then didn't stay dead, that he rose again. He was alive once more. Do you know anybody around you who has died and then rose again? I sure don't. But God did a miracle. He had promised that this would happen. Even Jesus' disciples, remember those 12 guys that always hung around him, his best friends? They didn't even know that this was going to happen. They sat there and they mourned and they cried that Jesus had died until this miracle happened and they saw Jesus for themselves. Before I go on anymore, let's listen to my friend Sycamore Sam tell us more about this awesome story of Jesus' victory. Take it away, Sam. Hey there, kids. It's your good buddy, Sycamore Sam. You know what we're doing today, kids? We're having a party. Woohoo! You know why we're having a party? We're having a party because Jesus is alive. Today is Easter Sunday, and we're celebrating the fact that Jesus is alive, that he had risen from the dead. Do you kids know the story of Easter? Well, here we go, because I'm going to tell you all about it. <laughs> all right. Well, Jesus loved every single person in the entire world. But there were some very bad people that did not love Jesus. In fact, they did not like Jesus at all. And they wanted to hurt him. They put Jesus on a cross until he died. And then after he died, they put him in a tomb. Hmm, do you kids know what a tomb is? Well, a tomb is kind of like a cave where they would put people after they had died. And then they would put a big stone in front of the tomb to be kind of like a door so that no one could get in or get out. Well, who'd be getting out of a tomb when there's only dead people in there? <laughs> Anyway, Jesus, after he had died, was put in a tomb. And the big stone was put in front of the opening. Well, after Jesus had died, all of his friends, they went home and they cried a lot. Their best friend, Jesus, had been killed and he was dead. Three days later, two women got up early in the morning to go to the tomb to take care of Jesus' body. And as they were walking, the women remembered that the big stone was put in front of the opening to the tomb, and there was no way for them to move it. They said to one another, we're not strong enough to move the big stone. What are we gonna do? 
they thought and they thought, but they decided, well, we'll just keep walking. And when we get to the tomb, we'll try to figure it out. Well, as they approached the tomb, they saw something miraculous. It was a miracle. The stone had been rolled away. But who had done it? Oh, I can't remember. Who was it that rolled that big old stone away? Hmm. That's right. An angel did it. And the angel was sitting on top of the tomb. On top of the big old rock that was covering the door of the tomb. And the angel said, you must be looking for Jesus. But he is not here anymore. He is alive. Go tell all of Jesus' other friends that he is alive. Well, let me tell you, those women were happy. They wanted to tell everyone the good news about Jesus, that he was alive. I'm happy to know that too. Aren't you kids? Jesus is alive. And he lives forever and ever. Yahoo! Oh, yeah. That's some exciting news, isn't that, kids? Make sure that you go tell all your friends that Jesus is alive. You know what, kids? Let's pray right now and let's thank Jesus for rising from the dead. Let's fold your hands like this and close your eyes and repeat after me. Say, Dear Jesus, I love you. Thank you for loving me. Thank you for rising from the dead. Thank you for being alive. I love you, Jesus. Amen. Hey, great job, kids. Until next time, I'm Sycamore Sam. Oh, thanks, Sycamore Sam, for the awesome story. What do you think, kids? Isn't that incredible that God, our Heavenly Father, rose Jesus from the dead? The two women that were at the tomb were so surprised. They were even a little bit scared, weren't they, to see an angel there and that the tomb was empty? I don't know what I would have done if I went to visit a grave and saw that it was empty. And not only that it was empty, but an angel was sitting on top. It would have been an incredible experience. But the angel assured them that no one had taken Jesus' body, but that he was alive. What a day to celebrate Jesus, right? In today's story, we're going to talk about two sisters and their family who are also celebrating Jesus' victory. Here we go. Madison ran into her sister's room with her pigtails bouncing in the air. Alyssa, Alyssa, guess what I got for Easter? Alyssa was putting on her new shoes. She looked up and asked Madison, did you get a chocolate bunny? I got a great big chocolate bunny, Madison said, and some jelly beans and my new dress. Isn't it pretty, she said. Alyssa smiled. Wow, it sure is. I have a new dress too. Do you like it? Alyssa stood up and spun around so Madison could see her dress. Madison said, I love your dress. It's so pretty. I love that we get presents for Easter. I got new clothes. I got candy and chocolates. I love getting presents. I love that we get presents for Easter and not just for Christmas. It's so fun. That afternoon, when it was time for their family devotions, Daddy said, Today is a very special day, girls. It's Easter Sunday. You may have gotten new clothes, candy, or toys, but that's not why Easter is such a special day. Easter is special because of a gift God's son Jesus gave us. Daddy and Mommy talked to the girls about how Jesus died on the cross for their sins, the things that they do wrong. The girls were sad that Jesus died, but then Daddy told them the exciting news that Jesus rose from the dead. Madison cheered when she heard that the angels said that Jesus was alive. Alyssa asked, how could Jesus rise from the dead? That's a very good question, Alyssa, Daddy said. The people who wanted Jesus to die did not believe it when Jesus rose again. And today, there are still people who don't believe that Jesus died or that he rose from the dead. But if you believe that Jesus is God's son and that he died for you and rose to live again, you can one day see Jesus in heaven. You just have to believe in him. Madison said, wow, Easter is about a lot more than getting a new dress. It's a day to celebrate Jesus just like at Christmas time. Mommy and Daddy laughed. Mommy said, in fact, every day is a great day to celebrate Jesus. So boys and girls, just like in our story with Madison and Alyssa, you guys can celebrate Easter with your family at home too. Just remember why it's important. But before you go and celebrate some more, 
Let me ask you a few questions about today's story. Question number one. What happened to that really big rock that was in our first story by Jesus' tomb? Did it fall down and crumble? Did it roll away or did it get stuck? If you guys know the answer, shout it out. That's right, kids. The stone had been rolled away. Good job. Question number two. What good news did the angel tell the two women who came to the gravesite? Did he tell them that Jesus was alive and rose again? Did the angel tell them that a baby was going to be born? Or did the angels tell them that they were now healed? If you guys know the answers, shout it out. That's right. The angel declared that Jesus was not in that tomb and for them not to be afraid that Jesus was actually alive and had risen again. Question number three. So what did Jesus do for you and I? You guys know the answers, shout it out. That's right, Jesus has done all kinds of things for you and I. But as we talk about Easter Sunday, what did he do for us today? Well, when he obeyed God and he told others about God's love. He died on the cross for our sins. See, God needed somebody perfect, somebody without sin. And if you guys don't remember what sin is, it's those things that God doesn't want us to do. Those bad choices we make, maybe some of those unkind words that we say, that is all sin and sin separates us from God. And we don't want to be separated from him. Just like you wouldn't want to be separated or lost from your mom and dad. God wanted us, wants us to be close to him. And he could only do that if his son Jesus died on the cross. And Jesus willingly and obediently did that for you and I. He listened to his heavenly father. But not only that, he showed everybody who was boss. He showed the whole world that he actually was the King of Kings, the true Savior, the true Messiah, the Son of God, by raising from the dead. Death did not hold him down. He conquered it. He was victorious. Have a great Easter. Remember the great sacrifice that Jesus made for you and I. As you celebrate with your families, having some yummy food, eating candy, maybe playing with some toys, Remember that those things are nice, but what Jesus did for you and I was a very special thing that no one else will do for you. He died on the cross for you and he rose again and is in heaven waiting for you. If you believe in him, if you believe that he is the son of God and that he died for your sins so you could be close to God, then you will be with him someday in heaven, which is a glorious thing. Have a great day, kids. Have fun celebrating Easter with your families, and we'll see you next week. Bye.